This is Shanghai, and beside me is the mouth of the Yangtze River open to the Yellow Ocean. On Changxing Island, 40 kilometers away from the city, is the largest shipbuilding base in the world. It started at 7.30 in the morning and became lively here. Because almost 20,000 employees come here every day to start the busy day of work. This is the main channel of the Yangtze River, with deep water and steep slopes. The 59-kilometer deep water coastline that is not silted or frozen all year round has laid a solid foundation for becoming a modern large-scale shipbuilding base. This shipbuilding base covers an area of 10 square kilometers, about the size of 1,400 standard football fields. It has four large docks and 17 outfitting piers. The shipyard where I am now has a legendary past in its history of 155 years. It is known as the China's first factory and the cradle of national industry. Today we will walk into China's first military shipbuilding enterprise, also called Jiangnan Shipbuilding. In 1865, the first large-scale modern enterprise Jiangnan Machinery Manufacturing General Administration was established in Shanghai. As the starting point of China's modern industry, Jiangnan shipbuilding has carried a nation's dream of being strong and powerful since its birth. After three centuries, Jiangnan shipbuilding has came legends. The first rifle, the first steel cannon, the first pound of smokeless powder, the first machine tool, the first furnace of steel, the first steam-powered warship, nearly a hundred important firsts were born here. After the founding of the People's Republic of China, the first domestically made 10,000-ton ship, Dongfeng, the first submarine, the first frigate, the first generation of space survey ships, Yuan Wang No. 1, Yuan Wang No. 2, and the first large ocean survey ship, Xiangyang Hong Ten, also set sail from here. In 1994, the China first ship, Type 052 guided missile destroyer built by Jiangnan Shipyard, the Harbin ship was delivered to the Navy and became the most advanced maritime pioneer ship of the People's Navy at that time. After 10 years of sharpening a sword, the first ship of 052 has witnessed the hard work of the older generation of shipbuilders and has also accumulated valuable experience for Jiangnan Shipyard. In the following decades, the China Aegis 052D guided missile destroyer and the 055 guided missile destroyer built by Jiangnan Shipyard have successively joined the People's Navy fleet. These advanced, beautifully shaped domestic ships have been constantly appearing in naval missions, naval exercises, and escort in the Gulf of Aden, helping the People's Navy move from blue to deep blue sea. The most advanced shipbuilding mode in the current engineering construction field is called the section construction mode. Large ships are divided into several sections or modules. Entire multi-deck segments of the hull or superstructure will be built elsewhere in the yard, then transported to the building dock or slipway to assemble the entire ship. It's like building a giant building block. In this cutting workshop, steel plates for shipbuilding are cut into different shapes for future welding needs. Every steel plate has already determined its position on the ship. How is this done? Please see. This string of numbers is the unique ID card on each steel plate. It accurately records the material compositions, specifications, dimensions, furnace batch number, barcode, etc. information of this steel plate. This information can also be traced back to each process. And this can also ensure that these materials are used in accordance with the original plan, reducing waste. And these codes will follow this steel plate to complete every process in the future. Of course, this is the metal cutting machine known as the strongest on the earth. It is called a plasma cutting machine. It can cut steel plates into various complicated shapes. The computer-guided plasma cutting machine uses superheated air to cut through solid steel in just a few seconds. And it is fully automatic operation, high precision and fast speed. The efficiency far exceeds manual cutting and the old working methods. Section 224 is being cut, which is the stern of the ship. We cut hundreds of different patterns every day. This machine is fully automatic, as long as the steel plate thickness is entered, the angle and speed are automatically displayed. Then it can be cut automatically. There are many complicated curved surfaces on the hull, especially in the bow and stern position. How to shape the steel plate into the shape we need? 
This is the world's first marine three-dimensional CNC plate bending machine. It is a core equipment with independent intellectual property rights of China. It uses special calculation and control software to automatically undergo the forming and processing of ship plates. Under full production conditions, this machine can do the jobs equivalent to 54 employees every day. Production efficiency is more than 10 times higher than before. The operation is also very simple. As long as the set data is entered, it will automatically process. Most of the ship steel plates in the bow and stern part of the hull are in complex three-dimensional curved shapes, such as sail-shaped board, saddle-shaped board, twisted board, etc. For many years, domestic and foreign shipyards have been adopting manual operation methods, particularly relying on the skills and experience of workers. The technique is complex, the precision is low, and the production is inefficiency. This has become a difficulty and technical bottleneck for the shipyard. Some special steels used in warships cannot be processed with traditional water or oil and heat treatment bending technology, which is more difficult to process. After the cut steel plate undergoes strict acceptance inspection, it then will enter the next process so-called welding. The welded steel plates are formed step by step in segmented modules at different positions of the hull. And this submerged arc welding machine can increase the efficiency by more than three times. Its most distinctive feature is that it does not produce any sparks during welding operations. Because the fierce powder it sprinkled before welding has hidden the sparks. The submerged arc welding machine not only guarantees the welding quality but also is safer and more environmentally friendly. These traditional shipbuilding equipment can no longer meet our needs for high quality development. With new generation of technology and equipment, we can achieve a seamless connection of 10,000 ton weight and 100 meter long built sections. This workshop has been transferred to modern automatic processing plant. This production line is new and just opened its operation. With robotics welding, the productivity is considerably increased. Previously, we used manual welding, which occupied a lot of space, and higher labor cost, and the quality was unstable. As a result, there are many repeat efforts and repair operations, so the efficiency is relatively low. Since using this intelligent welding device, we have solved these problems. Our production capacity has doubled in such a small plant. The efficiency has increased by 60%. Now, Dozens of intelligence automatic production lines have been developed and operates with capacity of 24 hours per day. In recent years, as China's labor costs have increased and our profits have fallen, and competition in the industry has become increasingly fierce, an intelligence system is our first choice. On this basis, we vigorously promote intelligent automation manufacturing. The warehouse had been modernized too with intelligence automation. This year, besides the traditional warehouse a brand new fully automatic operation warehouse has been built. So all relatively small items are placed in the new warehouse that is fully automatically sorted and stacked by using computer and AI technologies. In the past, our warehouse was dominated by plane stacking, with large and small items mixed together, which was error-prone and covered a large area. It also mainly relies on manual loading and handling, which is inefficient. Now the labor has been reduced by half, the efficiency has been greatly increased, and the working environment and safety have also been greatly improved. Large ships are gradually spliced from steel plates into huge sections, each section ranging from tens of tons to hundreds of tons. The plant can no longer accommodate these huge sections. 
They have to be moved out to dockyards. A huge section like this needs a super flat cart to carry. This cart has strong lifting power. The special hydraulic device makes it extremely powerful. Its lift weight reaches 480 tons. Each set of wheels can rotate 360 degrees horizontally. Can go over bumps easily and safety. Each section of a large ship is generally huge and weighs hundreds of tons. But hoisting is a delicate task. The basic requirement for a crane operator is stability and accuracy, and the error is calculated in millimeters. The gantry crane above the dock can lift up to 800 tons. Just now you saw how the gantry crane hoisted one by one. It is not possible to punch holes on the sections, but they can be welded and pressed. This buckle is like a handle by the facilitate gantry hoisting. Wait until the segment integration is completed before cutting and removing the buckle. This handle is called a hanging horse. The ship crane uses them for lifting, shifting, and loading operations. By my side, this is the smart workstation of Jiangnan Shipyard. It is currently the most advanced crane production line in the shipbuilding industry. It integrates robot visual recognition, intelligent grasping, and intelligent joining technology. The equipment will automatically judge the crane model, placement position, welding seam position, and then grab, buffer, transport, clamp, turn over, weld, unload, and so on. All are done automatically. The work that was originally completed by 27 people can now be completed by only 5 people. Not only greatly reduces the number of labor, but also ensures the stability of the quality of the hanging horse production. In March 2019, the first large navigation mark ship was launched. This is the world's first large-scale steel ship to be built with a three-dimensional experience platform, that is, three-dimensional drawings. After using three-dimensional drawings, workers have further improved their ability to digest and understand drawings. We will be very clear and intuitive to see what the final segment is like. I just click on the mouse to see the specific information and data of this part. So it is very convenient for us to use on site. After decades of development, our shipbuilding industry should now belong to the world's first camp. Jiangnan Shipyard has developed a welding quality control system. Let every welding machine be networked. Each weld point or line has an exclusive code name. Real-time control of welding quality is no longer a problem. This is the largest container ship in the world. The ship is about 400 meters long and more than 60 meters wide. Its deck area is about the size of four standard football fields. The container capacity of the ship has exceeded 20,000 standard containers, and the full displacement of only 220,000 tons is equivalent to the weight of 30 Eiffel Tower. Now it has completed the construction of the hull and is undergoing dock outfitting. If the hull construction process is compared to human bones, and the painting process is compared to skin, then the outfitting process represents various organs and tissues in the human body. For ships, the outfitting process refers to the installation of all devices, equipment and facilities except the hull structure, such as installing anchors, masts, ladders, circuits, pipes, etc. These technically complex systems support the normal operation of the entire ship. 
The most impressive thing in the ship's engine room is these densely packed, thick and thin pipes. Marine pipelines are divided into power pipelines and marine system pipelines. The power pipeline is divided into main engine and auxiliary engine services, including fuel, lubricating oil, cooling water, compressed air, exhaust, waste heat and other pipelines. The ship system pipeline is to improve the ship's sink resistance and stability, and meet the normal life needs of crew and passengers. Now let's review how we built the world's largest LNG carrier here 10 years ago.